I think, you know, certainly there are a couple different things, right? Clinical trial access, you know, and making sure that they have access to cutting edge treatments, right? That's obviously, you know, because that's where practice changing things come from. So that was one way to improve outcomes, right? Biomarker testing is a huge thing in lung cancer, right? And patients oftentimes don't have standard biomarker testing performed. You know, we know based on the data, it's about 50 to 60% of patients with lung cancer that, are, that, that, should, that, that get biomarker testing alone. And then of that, looking to see how many actually get standard biomarker comprehensive molecular testing is even less, right? So there's a disconnect there in terms of understanding, you know, what the, you know, there could be a potential therapeutic that you're not offering a patient that should really have that as first line. That, you know, is huge and will improve outcomes if we can do a better job in biomarker testing across the board. You know, um, so I think those are those are two areas in lung cancer specifically um, where we can work and improve, and I think we'll have you know ramifications on outcomes.